Good morning, everyone. Here I am, <clears throat> laying in my bank. Oh, my bank. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> laying in my hammock, and uh, I just wanted to get with you all. Uh, we have <clears throat> had rain almost all night long, and it's supposed to rain all the rest of the day. So that is not going to be much fun. Um, not for me or the dogs. <laughs> That's going to be fun, yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, I was talking to my son yesterday. He's a truck driver. And he drives for, uh, I know he delivers to Walmarts. I, I don't know where else. But he delivers food and it's the essentials that we need. And, uh, you know, these truck drivers, we have to be thankful to them because they're the ones that are bringing the food to us. As the food leaves the shelves, it's the truck drivers that's bringing the food. He told me that he had stopped somewhere. I remember exactly what it was, you know. But anyway, um, he said that there was a, a gentleman in the car that rolled down his window and said, I want to thank you for what you're doing. And James said, why? He said, because you're delivering, you know, uh, food for those that need it. And I want to thank you for it because a lot of people don't realize that it's the truck drivers that supplies and brings our food to us. Well, you know, that is true. That is so true. And not just because my son's a truck driver, but there's they're out there no matter what. They're out there delivering food, delivering the goods that we need. And we ought to be thankful to them and do a shout out to them when the opportunity is there. I'm sorry if I'm rocking back and forth, but you know, that's the hammock. <laughs> yeah, now, anyway... Um, I don't see things getting any better yet, but I do believe that it will. Um, I have one great concern, and this is something that a lot of you don't know, but I do have a son in prison in Arizona, and uh, he's not a violent, not violent, maybe we could say stupid, not really, he's not stupid, but his actions were. But anyway... Um, it's, he says it's really getting kind of um, dangerous inside the prison right now because everybody's concerned. I mean, the prisoners are concerned. They're locked down. They're, they, they can't say, okay, I'm going to separate myself. That's an impossibility. So... Please pray for my son. He's not a bad kid. But you know how drugs can do. And that's what caused his problems were drugs. So, I don't mean just pray for my son, but pray for all those prisoners in there. Because if the coronavirus hits in the prison system, God forbid... They, they don't have a chance. They just don't have a chance. And a lot of those that are in prison aren't bad people. A lot of them committed ridiculous crimes that should have never been done. And they probably would not have done if it hadn't been for the drugs. But addiction, I guess, is something horrible. I don't know. I Luckily, I think the only thing I have ever been addicted to was smoking cigarettes, and I quit that back in 92, I think it was 92, 91, something like that. So, it, it's been a long time, but I do know what addiction feels like in that matter. Um, but pray for, for our prisoners, and 
the elderly and the little ones. I mean, I read in an article where a newborn had contacted the virus. And, holy Toledo. Just people l listen to what they're saying. I'm not agreeing with everything, but I am telling you one thing. It can save your life. Stay away from other people, you know, as much as possible. And yes, it could be crazy not to go anywhere, but then with me, I don't mind because I could stay out here forever and never speak to another person. <laughs> I really could. Um, it wouldn't really affect me that bad. Um, you know, like, nobody's walking around here. I'll see a car drive through with towing a boat, you know, because they're going to go fishing. And they'll go by, and I just wave. And they wave back. That's as close as I want to get. Um, and in neighborhoods, you know, you don't have to be at your neighbor's house. Stay in your own house. If you want to say hi and you live next door to them, open your door and say hi, you know. Um... There's a car going by right now. I don't know what that one is. For. Huh. It's a truck. Pickup truck. Yeah, they go down there to the to the launching area and then back. I don't know. Anyway, um, please keep everybody in prayer. And don't ignore what they're telling us to do. Because... Whether it's an exaggerated thing, as some people think, or not, better safe than sorry. Okay? Peace. Love you all.